Tonight, high stakes fire training in a high rise building puts firefighters in Sacramento to the test tonight. Five, truck 23, engine 7, engine 3, truck 10, commercial structure 555, Capitol Mall on the ninth floor. Crews haven't had this training in Sacramento for 12 years. Pretty cool stuff. KCRA3's Richard Sharp was the only reporter to go along with the firefighters and joins us live. Richard, how was it? It was awesome, but uh, they were here to try and find a fire on this building, somewhere in the upper floors. What makes this exercise so different is the sheer size of this exercise and the setup that it required. Engine 3, truck 10. Commercial structure fire Mobile fire. dispatch calls firefighters to Capitol Mall, a fire on the ninth floor of this building. <laughs> Loaded with hoses, the firefighters pour into the lobby and up to the floor just below where the fire is supposed to be. You can see these guys are getting their final game plan together before they go upstairs to where the fire is supposed to be. Get wise, ready to go. Right now it's crucial they get all their hoses laid out and pressurized before everything happens. It's chaotic. Communication is key. They race to set up the hose, pressurize it with water, then head up the last flight of stairs. This gives you a good feel for how intense this is. Not only can you not see, if you look down here, this is the firefighter's lifeline. This is how they find their way back if they need to. And of course, their fire hose, which for all intents and purposes is pressurized. Now, this thing weighs about 300 pounds. Trying to get it up the stairwell is no easy task. From there, they scramble on their hands and knees into the fire. Lots of smoke, no lights, and only a few heat-seeking cameras. This gives you a good feel for how little you can see. I'm literally just a foot away from the camera. It took days of work to get this training session set up. The Sacramento Fire Department spent several days building these wooden partitions. But this simulates like a cubicle. This is like cubicle heights. There's like a person that's fallen down in the cubicle. That's the whole point here, correct? Yes, the idea is a, a victim that wasn't able to get out of the fire floor. They even put up cross beams as a forceful reminder for firefighters. You guys, you're going to have to get down on your hands and knees and move your hose lines and crawl through the structure like this. The drill is a massive effort. They haven't done a training exercise of this magnitude in 12 years. Firefighters line up in crews, engine crews, truck crews, and so on. They each get one shot. It's going to show us our weaknesses. It's going to show us where we need to improve. More than 50 firefighters from Roseville to Woodland are here tonight. This training goes for five weeks, and there will be firefighters from across the state who will come to train on this course. To give you a feel for how realistic that all was, the hose you saw there that was so inflated, it wasn't impressurized with water. They actually put sand in that hose to duplicate the weight of water without doing any damage to the building, a, t a technique they pioneered the Sacramento Fire Department and they hope to pass on to other departments. Live in Sacramento.